Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. And you're a gay rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, lesbian, homosexual. How can I describe you? I'm not sexually active right now. I've just not, uh, I've chosen not to engage. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is the Robinsoid. Do you remember that story that I did about Obama's possible sexuality and his problems with it? So this came out from the New York Post. And, well, I guess it's a follow-up to what we'd already been talking about, in which Obama told an ex-girlfriend, yes, girlfriend, I make love to men daily, but in my imagination... Let her show. Uh, yeah, why are you telling any girl that? Why are you telling anyone that, you creepy bastard? Yes, you remember that video that I did about a month ago or so, in which there was speculation and innuendo about Obama's, about Obama's sexuality, but now I think we actually have the real proof and the down payment, as I said in the last video, that... Indeed, Obummer is riding the hobby horse with men. Heard it right. Obummer told this girl that he was dating about in 1982, I believe it was, that he actually liked to fantasize about having sex with men. But only in my imagination. Uh, yeah. I think there's a little bit more going on in that twisted imagination of yours, Obummer. And again... Why would you tell anybody that? Barack and Michael, I mean Michelle, have been married for 31 years, and to tell you the truth, according to Michael, I mean Michelle, those have been a very rocky 31 years. As a matter of fact, the first 10 years of their marriage, she put it, was very, very rocky from the very beginning. As it turns out that, that Barack was still fantasizing about men. To tell you the truth, I don't know why it was such an issue, because wasn't she actually a man to begin with? Well, that's why I keep calling her Michael, because, well, we've seen her in some photos where there's obviously a bulge sticking out of the uh, her uh, crotch area in her dress, shall we say? And I'm not sure, but possibly in this photo, she might have hairy armpits. I don't want to speculate. I just know that she's got some big-ass friggin' muscles, which kind of makes me question. And, I don't know, if you look close enough at this video, there is a good chance that she might have a very pronounced Adam's apple. So I suppose we have to ask ourselves, very much like the marriage of Bill and Hillary Clinton, is this just another marriage of convenience? Are they only just married because they need each other for political, for, for political expedience? It could be entirely possible. I mean, after all, they don't seem particularly happy together, in spite of what this photo might have you believe. Uh, they don't seem to like each other that much, and I'm beginning to wonder at all if they really ever truly did the mambo, if they truly ever did the horizontal bump. Well, they must have. I mean, obviously, they produced two daughters, Sasha and... Is it Malika or Malia? Ah, who cares? In any case, I am still under the impression that this is just another marriage of inconvenience. Oh, excuse me, a marriage of convenience, because it's just convenient that these two have each other to forward their political careers. Again, very much like the Clintungs. Now, a bummer may do his best to laugh off these allegations, but I guarantee you they're absolutely true. This guy clearly is kind of in the uh, backsides back tonight kind of way. You do have to keep in mind that this was the very same president who said that he was that he had voted against gay marriage, and then finally, after Prop 8 didn't pass, or did it? Well, uh, now he's cool with it. You know he tries to be all things to all people. Now, you have to keep in mind that this was the president, the one president who is responsible for bringing wokeness into the public eye, 
Yeah, wokeness had existed before in smaller forms, like, say, removing the Ten Commandments from churches uh, via the ACLU. But Obama truly is the godfather of wokeness because he was the first supposed black president, which actually he was racially mixed, but I think it can be now proven that he was the first gay president. And now you have Pete Booty Juice wanting to try to be president himself. <laughs> I scoff at that idea. I think after Obama, America is finished with a queer prez. That's what I think. Of course, you'll remember that he was the first president to light up the White House in rainbow colors to celebrate what they like to call Pride Month. But the truth was, he was demonstrating that he really doesn't have any respect for the office, nor does he have any respect for the American public if he's going to pull a stunt like this. And of course, as you remember back in June, Biden did the very same thing by putting the uh, FDBT supposed pride flag right there dead center between two American flags, which really you're supposed to have it the other way around if you want to celebrate that. Yeah, I believe they did break protocol, but still nobody has called them out on it. In all honesty, this truly is Biden Obama's third term. It's just that you have an, oh, an old, decrepit white man fronting the whole thing. But truthfully, this is an O'Biden term, a third term for Obama. Biden is just a figurehead, nothing more. Now, initially, this was part of what the media calls a capture and kill campaign, where they would literally kill the story, uh, make sure that this 40-year-old information would uh, grab it, capture it, kill it, make sure it never was made public, and that way that the message and the information would be redacted so that it was not available for public disclosure um, as a means of protecting the people who are the parties involved. And we are talking about a 40-year-old love letter here to an ex-girlfriend that was recently uh, resurrected from the vaults, as it were, and uh, made public, well, thanks to the internet and 24-hour news media cycles and all of that. Yes, you can't keep that information secret forever. Well, here is the picture of Barack and St. Obama from back in November of 1982. Quite frankly... He looked like a clean-shaven Richard Pryor with cancer. He was so skinny. And, well, uh, let's be honest here. He had this love letter, which he had actually written to his girlfriend. Yes, he actually did have a girlfriend, in which he fantasized, in which he said he was making love to several men, but only in his imagination. Creepy. Yes, you thought that Joe, you thought Creepy Joe was creepy? Ho, 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 ho. Let me tell you, I don't think anyone could be creepier than Barack Insane Obama. I could be mistaken, but I think this was the girl. Uh, yeah, I think he dug the white chicks back then. Or maybe not really, since he was secretly making love to men in his mind. Whatever, that's, that's just still fucking creepy. Here's what Obama writes. My mind is androgynous to a great extent, and I hope to make it uh, more so until I can think of terms that people are not opposed to, or uh, when people are not uh, opposed to men. But in returning to the body uh, that I have been, that I have made, and that has made a man out of me, what in the hell is he even talking about? All I know is he wrote this chick to uh, this gal McNair, and quite frankly, yeah, she had dated Obama for a little while in late 1982 and admitted his feelings of androgyny and also his, uh, opened, his open mind of, to homosexuality and the fact that he liked to, in my mind, I'm, in my imagination, I am making love to men. You need help, Obama. You really do. I think we can clearly get the idea that from this love letter, supposedly, that Obama is totally at war with his own brain. Uh, this is what they mean when they say that, that one is their own worst enemy. He's at war with himself. 
and probably a danger to himself as well. This guy clearly doesn't need to be around women. I definitely wouldn't allow him around children. What I would probably do is I'd put this guy in the booby hatch as soon as I possibly could. Yeah, I think he fantasized about being in the White House from the bathhouse. Now, before we close out, I want to mention this. Well, there was this, uh, this thing called Art and Letters. I guess it's a book by an obvious so bummer disciple by the name, <clears throat> by the name of David Samuels, who was clearly a, a minion of Obama, called the Obama Factor, in which he pretty much states that Obama is more or less a fiction. He is a media creation. And we've kind of warned you from, from day one that he was. This guy had basically written about how Obama is a media creation, which was something that all of us have tried to warn you since 2007, that this guy was a media creation. He only had ever been a uh, freshman senator in the south side of representing the south side of Chicago. Before that, he was a community organizer, which isn't even a real job, just basically going around from tree to tree, staple gunning, uh, very, putting staple guns with flyers on trees. Yeah, that's not a real job. A community organizer is nothing, okay? This guy came from nothing. He was nothing before he was president. He was a total nothing as president. And the guy truly still is nothing even today. We tried to warn you this back in 07, but we were mocked. We were called every name under the sun because... The goddamn left just wouldn't listen. So, for any of you who have ever wondered, is Obama an authentic human being? Is he just another media creation? Well, we here at Channel Robozoid are here to help you out. The answers to those questions are quite simple. No to the first question and yes to the second. No, he is not an authentic human being. Yes, he is just another media creation. There is nothing authentic, there is nothing authentic or real about this man at all. He is just another media creation. And everyone knows that media darlings do not deserve our respect here at Channel Robizoid. This is not an authentic human being. I'm not even sure he really is human at all. Because he has such a disturbed mind that it makes me wonder if he's even human at all. And as for Mouchelle, is, is she really a woman? We already played the clip from Joan Rivers, so I don't think we need to go there again. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that for you to decide. But I will tell you this right now and straightforward. No, Obama is not a genuine human being. And yes, he is just another media creation. I suppose you've already seen all the evidence. You've already seen the proof, the down payment that Obama clearly is an inauthentic man with no real ambition, no real thoughts, absolutely no reality in his world whatsoever, that he clearly is an island unto himself. This guy has obviously ignored the writings of John Donne because this guy, what a faker. Marriage of convenience. I'm pretty sure that Michelle is really a man. I think the Adam's apple and the extreme bulge in the dress area ought to prove that. And let's face it, if we get canceled for this, well, so be it. The truth has to be told. And I'm the only one to give it to you, really. Because Obama clearly doesn't understand that wokeness is weakness. And we here at Channel Robozoid believe firmly in the rights in your right to know your right to think for yourself, your right to ask questions, your freedom to speak, your, your freedom to smash the like button and subscribe, to leave a comment, your, free, your power, and also the power to the music in the streets.